Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about FTX crypto and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you approve a higher deposit and withdrawal limits on FTX? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a quick video. There's not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to get higher deposits and withdrawal limits on FTX? Well, that's pretty easy. If you signed up for FTX, the initial account is pretty limited on what you can withdraw and what you can deposit. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the app. It's this turquoise and black one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there, but I'm going to open up my FTX app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my FTX app. This is the home screen here. Now, if you'd like to get approved for higher deposits and withdrawal limits on FTX, you have to go to KYC level two. And how you do that is you click on this gear icon here on the top right. Once you click there, you're gonna get this drop down menu but in order to get approved for higher deposit and withdrawal limits on your FTX account, click right here on account limits. Okay. Once you click there, then you're going to see these few options here. So as you can see, my account is limited. So if you want to increase your limits on your FTX account, you can either click on this green button or this green button. It's going to bring you to the same place. So I'll click on increase limits. Next, in order to go to KYC level two on your FTX account, you need to list a valid social security number, but it looks like you can use a phone number if you're not US citizen. They're also going to need a photo of my government issued ID. So I'm going to click on let's go. First, I'm going to enter in my social security number off screen. They also have this button here. If you are not a US citizen, once you click there, it skips right to your government issued ID. So let me go back. Okay. So here I am back on the social security number. I'm going to enter my social off screen now. Okay. I went ahead and entered in my social security number. I'm going to click on next. Next, they're letting me know they need to verify my government issued ID. So I'm going to click on verify identity. Next, they're letting me know that FTX US uses a company called Stripe. Stripe is a well-known company that most financial apps use to verify your bank account or your identity. They do include the privacy policy. So go ahead and read through that. And if you're okay with it, go ahead and click on get started. Next, you can choose what type of identification you would like to use. For me, I'm going to use my passport. Once you've chosen, go ahead and click on this next button. Next, they let you know how Stripe is going to verify your identity to increase your limits on your FTX account. They let you know they use biometric technology on images and of your ID. If that looks okay to you, go ahead and click accept and continue. Next, they're letting me know that camera access is required. So I'm going to click on continue. My cell phone's warning me that they will have access to my camera. If you're okay with that, go ahead and click on okay. Again, my phone is giving me a warning that they're going to be using the camera. So I'm going to click on allow. Okay. Next, they're asking me to take a picture as you can see with the camera access, or you can go ahead and do what I do and click on more, and then you can go ahead and upload images. So I'm going to click there. Once you click there, you can go ahead and select a photo here here. So I'm going to upload my photo of my passport now. Okay. I went ahead and uploaded a copy of my passport. Make sure that all the information is clear and readable. If so, go ahead and click on this blue looks good button. Next, you get this pop-up asking if you would like to help improve Stripe verification. For me, I don't like to do that. So I'm going to click on decline. Next, they're letting me know that Stripe is going to take three photos of my face to compare them to my identification. So I'm going to click on continue and take those three photos. Okay, guys. So that process went really quick. So I wasn't able to catch it on film. So basically what happened is after I raised the selfie camera up to me, the system will automatically take three photos of your face. You don't need to press any buttons. And then it'll bring you back here to the screen saying that it's pending and that it's being verified with Stripe. And actually the process went really quick. It looks like it's handled by a computer system because about 45 seconds later, I got an email saying that my account has been approved for higher account limits for my FTX crypto. Let me switch over to that email and show you what it looks like. Okay. So here is the email that I received from FTX, letting me know that I have higher limits for withdrawal and for deposits for my FTX account now. And again, it was a really quick process once the photos were taken automatically. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to increase your deposit limits and increase your withdrawal limits on your FTX crypto account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.